Hello and welcome to this breakdown video of my soundtrack album Inertia. So Inertia is an extended theme in variations which tells one overarching story through music. I've really enjoyed making it um, and I've put a lot of hard work into it and so I'm really glad to be able to share it with you all now. This video will include a breakdown of some of the key musical ideas throughout as well as some of the sounds and instruments that I used to create the soundscape for the whole album. So if we take a look at the first track of the album, this is the main title. And this piece contains most of the sounds and instruments that I've used throughout the rest of the album. Firstly we've got brass, trumpet, horns, trombones, tubers, and then we move on to strings, and so that's kind of the backbone of the orchestral sound. Um, and you'll notice that there's no woodwinds. Um, so I haven't really used any woodwinds throughout this piece. Um, and I think that's one of the things that differentiates it from other kind of orchestral sounding um, works. I've also featured a piano. Um, you'll hear quite a bit of that throughout the album. And one sound that I was really um, wanting for this album to give it a bit of that kind of modern twist was an electric guitar. So you hear the guitar tone um, has a bit of distortion, delay, reverb, um, and really cuts through the rest of that orchestra. Then I've used a bunch of synths um, to kind of support um, the rest of the instruments um, working in the background. Um, and then there's the super sore lead, which you can see here, and uh, that's an iconic sound. And then lastly we've got percussion, and so for percussion it was really important to me that I was combining acoustic instruments, um, such as the orchestral kit and the timpani, um, with some electronic drum kits, um, just to give it that really modern um, fusion sound. So there's three main um, melodies or motifs that you hear um, numerous times throughout the album. And the first one we're going to look at is the hero theme. So the hero theme is uh, started off as just a four note motif um, built off a F sharp minor chord. And the whole album is in the key of F sharp minor um, or A major at some points. Um, and this hero theme is meant to be really powerful. Um, but it does have that minor undertone to it, and um, I'll play you a um, couple of examples of where I've used this theme. So here's the main theme as heard in um, the title track. this come back in a strong way um, later in the album in Escalations. And just for a bit of fun, um, see if you can spot the same idea here in Morning Routine. So next we've got the B theme, um, and I really loved the sound of the saxophone for this one. Um, just gives it more of a laid back feel, um, a little bit bluesy, I really enjoyed that. And um, the way that that mixes with the electric guitar um, towards the end of this piece, a late overnight, um, I just think is really lovely. Um, so my good friend Joel uh, recorded some electric guitar for me on this album, um, and yeah, it's pretty beautiful.
lastly, we've got the villain theme. Um, and so this one's, you know, obviously a bit darker, um, and I do really love writing um, these kind of darker tones, um, strong percussion. Yeah, I had a lot of fun with this one. Um, and this piece is where the French horn really gets to shine. This um, theme also appears earlier in the album, it appears in the main track um, and it appears in this one called um, Downtown Pursuit. And it's a bit different here, um, you know, you've kind of got eerie violins going on in the top um, and the double basses are taking that villain melody. It's just a bit ominous. <laughs> Hey, so that's all for now. Um, thanks for tuning in. Thanks for checking it out. I really hope you um, enjoy the album. See ya.